Hey guys, welcome to Gardening Upbeat and I hope you are doing very well. In today's video, we are going to see how to make Aglonema much fuller and make them healthy. Sometimes we get many issues with them and here I am going to discuss everything about growing healthy Aglonema plant. You are going to see the updates of more than 1.5 years and let me show you from where I started. At the time of planting, this is how it was looking. Then after one year it became like this, but as you can see there are many issues on the plant. Worked on my plant and finally here is the result. The color of the pot is different now. No worry, you are going to see why it happened. Let's start everything step by step. Step number one, selecting one good potting soil mix. Aglonema need very well drained and rich soil. This is how I did. 40% normal garden soil. 20% sand, 20% perlite, and 20% vermicompost. Soilless media also works well and in that case you can take three components in equal part. First one is cocoa peat, second one is vermicompost, and third one is perlite. These are basic stuff but soon you are going to see many interesting things. Please keep watching. Step number two. For a plant of this size, a 6 inch wider and 6 inch deeper pot is fine. But as you can see, it has overgrown and very soon I am going to shift the plant to a much bigger pot. Step number 3. Timing is very important. For better result, try to report your plant at the end of January. They start producing new offshoots from spring onwards. It's better to avoid disturbing the roots in the winter. Step number 4. After reporting water thoroughly and then keep the pot only under indirect sunlight. Let's take a look at the updates. So this is an update after one year and one month. I did everything at the right time and that's why we can see many new offshoots in my plant. But there are many issues. Many leaves are turning yellow. Also there are many leaves with spots on them. Honestly saying, the plant is absolutely looking bad. Leaf spot disease is quite common on Aglonema. To treat this, we can apply any copper based fungicide and dose is 2 grams in 1 liter water. But I am not going to apply anything. Instead, I am going to remove all the damaged leaves so that disease doesn't spread to the other leaves. Here comes the important step number 5. Please note, Aglonema doesn't like frequent rainfall and try to protect your plants from continuous rainfall. In my experience, Aglonema even doesn't like dew drops in winter. In both cases, you can find leaf spot disease on your plant. Also note that I already have one video where I have discussed about other issues that we find on the leaves of Aglonema. So in case you are getting issues other than whatever I am discussing here, please check out the video simply clicking on the i button on top right corner or you would also find the link to that video in the description box. Step number 6. This time I am going to apply one powerful fertilizer and eat Bascote. It works for the next 5 to 6 months and for a pot like this, one teaspoon is enough. No need to apply any other major nutrients for the next 5 to 6 months and here it is how to apply. Simply dig a hole, keep the crystals and then cover them with the soil. Please note till today I was feeding them with seaweed extract once in 30 to 40 days. The dose is 5 ml in 1 liter water. Finally water thoroughly. I am doing overhead watering as the leaves are getting dirty. Let's see what happens next. This is only after 21 days and we can already see new leaves on my plant. Plus the leaves are turning to get somewhat more shiny comparing to before. This is after 40 days. We can see the improvement. Right now I am keeping my plant indoor in a bright area. Previously, I mean at this stage, it used to get direct sunlight for around half an hour. It was on terrace and I did not know that it was getting direct sunlight. That's why the leaves were not shiny at all. 
Is there anything else that I am doing to make the leaf shiny? Of course I am and I am using growth promoter. For this using super sonata and dose is 2 ml in 1 liter water. Mix well and then spray on the leaves once in 2 to 3 months. Step number 7. Please water very carefully. Before watering always check the soil and let it dry out something like this. Then water thoroughly and then extra water should come out through the drainage hole. This is the result after doing everything. I know that many people are going to think about the color of the pot. Well, it's in the same pot. Let me show you very quickly. I love to use white pot for indoor plants and that's why I'm doing this one. There is one more important step to discuss. But did you like the result? I hope so and please let me know by commenting below. Step number 8. During the monsoon, you may find fungus attack on your plant. To treat this, we can use fungicide like SAF and dose is half teaspoon in 1 liter water, that is 2 grams. It feels really great whenever we are able to revive any plants. Same thing happened with my peperomia plants and finally got very good result. In case you are interested in watching, please check out the next video. Hope you found this video useful and if you did, I would really appreciate if you give it a like, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel if you are new to gardening a bit. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and enjoy. Bye bye. See you later.